first step here, you see this garlic crushed up some. I'm going to put it in the mortar with a handful, a couple teaspoons of coarse salt. Now, one of the things you have to consider what the final application for this duck is going to be. If I was simply making <coughs> comfy duck to be used with as a game dish with uh, you know, you know, cherry sauce or something, I would add juniper berries, uh, thyme, herbs. But in this case, I'm actually going to be using this duck for a variety of uh, recipes. So I have to keep the flavors here kind of neutral in the duck. Um, I'm actually planning on using um, the, some of the duck meat to make a Thai curry later. So I don't want to put juniper berries and bay in it because it'll be really weird with the Thai flavors. The, co the cooking method is just fine, um, but uh, you, you got to control your flavors. I and mean, Try to keep it neutral if you're going to be using this for more than one application. So I'm basically I'm just going to add mixture of pepper uh, for mixed peppers along with this salt and garlic and that's all the, that's all the seasoning the dry rub on the duck is going to get and that way I can use it for just about anything you can always add other flavors later anyway okay, this, is, this is good we got a large bowl Let's scrape this out into I get the uh, four mixed peppers here, and just use the same mortar pestle to give these a good grind. You don't want to, you don't want to crack them. You don't want to, don't want to turn them into a powder. And the ground. Keep going here with the salt and the garlic. And it's actually not enough salt in here. The salt that I used to, to crush the garlic is not all. Of course, salt is going to get uh, the rest in here. And it's important that this is coarse salt, too. Okay, now yeah, we've got the mixture. We're going to go with the duck. Now we can turn our attention to the duck itself. And it's pretty basic, just what you think. You've got to, to look at the duck, you've got some extra little flaps of fat here you can get rid of. Only, only trim off what you absolutely have to. The, you know, now the thing is, we don't get the, the super giant, beautiful duck legs that, that you see sometimes. However, <laughs> you can eat your heart out because although we don't get giant ones, we get smaller ones like this. These cost in the store about a dollar each, which is a pretty good price for duck. And then as you would expect, this just gets put in the bowl with the seasonings and this has to get applied to all the duck as best as possible. It will take some time, really rub it in, really massage it. And then it's just, just going to get covered with uh, some cling film and left in the refrigerator at least overnight. You can, you can leave this for more time. Some people say you need to leave it for two days. This is really excessive. Certainly you need to leave it overnight though. It's going to take a few minutes. I'm, I'm actually going to spend. This is this is one of the steps that people don't spend enough time doing. This flavor is not going to get into the duck by itself. It really needs to be pressed and rubbed into the duck. So spend spend two three minutes even making sure that the duck's really really been coated with this before you uh, walk away from it. Okay, we have the duck. It's been left here for um, close to 24 hours now. And I'm going to pull it up over a sink. Use a brush. Just knock off all the extra bits of the salt and pepper off of it just to get rid of it. You don't have to be anal about it, but you need to get rid of as much of it as you can. And I'm just going to repeat this with, with each duck quarter. Simple process. And then it's going to go from here, it's going to go into the dish that it is uh, going to confit in. It's going to cook in fat. And you see also the bowl that 
that uh, it sat in overnight. It's got a lot of liquid. That's what we wanted to get rid of. We wanted to, to help dry out the duck, concentrate the flavor. That's the process. Okay, now it's in. This is the jar of duck fat that I continue to recycle for confit. Uh, I've been using this particular jar now for about five years and I make confit on a fairly regular basis and that's really the best of the best because it's got all the flavors from all the previous batches of duck are in here along with your new duck that you're, you're cooking so it's better than just duck fat it's duck flavored duck fat this is uh, enough to cover it it's going to go in the oven and uh, begin cooking with the lid on of course and then after about three hours remove it now traditionally you leave this in the fat in order to um, it and preserve it that's what the original confit duck was for it was a way to preserve duck for the rest of the year and you just leave it stored in the fat but in most <laughs> realistically in most applications these days we are just going to remove the duck to a container we're going to store the fat the fat we're going to use another time filter it um, get rid of any uh, solids in it and uh, the duck will, will be just kept cold and here we have the duck that's been pulled out of this. I'm just going to uh, put a lid on this and store this in the refrigerator. And as for the fat, it needs to be strained and put back into the container with the duck fat for the next time we make confit duck. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.